learning to skateboard can be really scary. There's a lot of information out there how to learn tricks, but what is the learning process actually like? In this video, we follow the journey of these two brand new skaters and see how much they can progress in 30 days. So we got this guy, Max Monthly Challenge. Learn to skateboard in one month. Ollie, kickflip, drop in, grind. I've never seen this guy's channel before. But let's see what happens. And this month, I'm trying to learn how to skateboard. I've got four is he goals Australian? to achieve for the month, which is number one, Ollie, which is no a way. jump on a skateboard. Number two, kickflip, which is a really cool spinning trick on the skateboard. Another That's Elson Wick Hog. into a quarter pipe. 12 boards and number though? Four is to do a This grind, is in my home city of Melbourne. Be by far the hardest. I should add that I have no idea what I'm doing on a skateboard. <laughs> All right, let's see if the Aussie can pull it off. How much right progression now, can they get in one month? Skateboard. I'm pretty yeah. excited for this one. I'm hoping I don't get injured. Getting something that's going to be easy to flip around is. Ben, help me choose Ooh, the, Alex right Lund, deck, the right Alex the right the right wheels, the right bearings, and then he pieces it all together. So now I have my fully made skateboard, and I'm ready to start my challenge. Goal one, Ollie. Okay. Goal real number one should be so riding around, but it's okay. Was to do an ollie, which is a jump on a skateboard and the foundation for a lot of different tricks and. That is true, but riding is the real foundation. So with a friend, I started practicing. So what I right. learned. At least he's got a good teacher. The motion is popping your back foot, it's having some trouble with popping a little bit too hard. That's pretty good, honestly. And, and also, it's not a good idea to skate in confined space, because if you slip out, which you 100% will, you're going to hit your spine right on the edge of this stuff, which you absolutely do not the want, so practice, be careful. The better I got in terms of controlling the board in the air. That's the pretty good. The challenge was to try to do an ollie on the Okay, move. we're already on day seven, huh? Some baby little ollies on the move. It's definitely a different experience doing it on the move. It's a little scarier. And it's harder to keep the board stable Ooh. as you're moving forward. See, 30 days is cool because we can actually, like, take our time with trying to learn so stuff and build fundamentals. With ben, my yeah. And I started getting feedback as to what I was doing wrong. Whether if I wasn't Dang, that was pretty good. See, look, two weeks. And that feedback is I so wonder if he's skating every day or how, so how he runs it. Over my first object. And so we <laughs> a little piece of foam. I want to see you ride in a big open space. Like Melbourne has such and great places to like skate. Just go to IMAX, go to the Melbourne Museum. Pretty good. To move on to bigger objects oh, <laughs> oh yeah. So now, run it back, run it back. Over was this broom, which I practiced on yeah. all month. And you can see these are me starting to get it. And then okay, look, we're already on day 17. Cleaner. At this point, my flat ground ollies were getting a lot cleaner, and I could consistently level out the board. 25? Dude, when Finally, are we going to learn to kickflip? Right at the end? Other objects, like water bottles. 20 seconds. <laughs> oh, look, we got a little look. grind box. Okay, so we spent 26 days on goal number one. I like that. A kick flip. Whoa, we're back to day nine. It's quite tricky because not only are you interesting and popping up the board, interesting way to run this. I feel like you want to have to get that spinning motion, and then you got to get both feet back onto the board, and it's really tricky. So you can see, <laughs> Whoa, what? So <laughs> you got it. Motion going, day 10. Really wow, that's board. it. Like, and that's a make. If, I ever did start to land on the board, it would be if right you can do that, you can land it. You just got to try more. Some of the key things I learned was definitely nail yes. your ollie before going for your kick. So if, if you're landing on the tail, which is a common thing of beginners, you really just got to think like, all right, I'm landing kind of back. I need to just jump forward. So I need to do everything the same and kind of just jump forward. For that kick flip. I also learned that you want to be sliding right at the nose and right off at the right angle. If you flick your front foot out too quickly, then the board's gonna go in a different direction. And it's let's see if you can get one four wheels really down. One of the trickiest parts once you do Ooh. start getting the motion down is to keep the board underneath your feet. Yeah, After there we go. Hours and hours of practice. Finally, this happened. Yeah. And day 23 but see on day 10 he pretty Sometimes much could have done it click. and so my next attempt went like this i want to see him do it rolling now i think he can yeah it was a real rush finally landing a kick flip and as the night went on i started getting them cleaner and cleaner see that's what the difference is between like building your skills and just trying to land one kick flip one time because like when you build your skills like you actually just be able to like unlock it rather than just land at once 
Oh, here we go. But honestly, if you spend 23 days on the board, he's got this easy. Into a quarter pipe. Yeah, I like this park. So Elson Wick. skate park. And the first thing that I needed to do was getting comfortable picking up. Benny needs more. And so I, started I hope his homie is there to help him. Getting used to so the oh, next yeah, good. step was to practice dropping in on this ramp. And the key to dropping in is all about confidence. So you want to push down on your front foot. You want to lean, lean forward with your more. front shoulder and there actually you drop in with your way down. You can see I was getting my coach to help me so I could get comfortable. You got to really explain how much you have to I lean forward. Committing and I was falling backwards. And so you can see here, I lean back oh and my gosh. totally stack. You <laughs> To drop in really isn't that hard, but it's all in your head. And it's one of those things that yeah. the more you do it, the more comfortable you get actually going through that motion. And finally, I did the big ramp with no Dang, that was good. Feel I still wouldn't mind seeing him push so a little harder forward. The quarter pipe. And this was a lot trickier because you get yeah, a lot push harder. faster. Yeah, push harder. I think you need quicker. to push a bit more. So the progression was starting by holding two hands with my coach and then holding one hand. And then going no hand and letting my coach catch me. And you got the helmet, and finally nice. Just keep going through that motion so that the coach could go further and further away, and I could pick up more and more confidence <laughs> actually dropping in on that quarter pipe. Get it? Yeah. After All right. Up my confidence in going through the motions, I was able to successfully drop into the yeah. quarter pipe with no. Yeah. I still help. wouldn't mind to see him push a little harder forward. Man, grinding is pretty tough for 30 days. Oh yeah, I guess we got this grind box. The board and your body. Oh, and jump and there's speed gosh. involved. And so to get things started, I started practicing by actually rolling onto a grind. And so you can see in this attempt, I successfully rolled. Oh, was the backtrack on? I don't think it was. The Whoa, was over the, ollie onto over the, the stick. Do not do this if you guys practice because ollieing from the very beginning of the obstacle is way harder than if you're already a little bit past it. He's in kind of a bit of a situation because this box is not so long, but you want to be able to r be riding next to the box, then ollie on. Like, honestly, he should just stationary be standing here and ollieing on because going like this, even for an advanced skater, it makes it more difficult. Like, if I was to skate it like this, it's harder than just ollieing from the side. A very little box. Dang, he's sending though. It still takes a lot of coordination, speed, and then ollieing high enough, controlled enough. Yeah, see, that's what happens when you try to go from the front, and that's like really scary and dangerous. A lot of yeah, get rid of that thing. It's actually getting Ooh. over the fear of falling. And it's just something that's going to happen. Tailbone. It's about getting up and dealing with those knocks when they happen. That it is true, but also you can try to fall safely. Like the more that you skate and the more that you build your skills, the more comfortable you get to falling. So like what I always say to people bend their knees is that if someone that doesn't skate doesn't bend their knees and falls, they slam so hard, hit their head, knock themselves out, whatever. But if you kind of know what the vibe is and you know, oh, I'm always ready to fall at any time, you can kind of maneuver your body in a way Every that's not going to damage it as much. So that brings me to Dang, day 30? My last day of the challenge and my last day to land that grind. Yeah. Yeah, see, I think I would have definitely liked stationary first and maybe a different obstacle would help us. Because, like, now he's doing it, but he's, his obstacle is so letting him down. super close attempts. I had this big stack, and that ended my session. Yeah. I was winded. I was tired. Dang. This was a three-hour session that see, I had trying to nail. Honestly, like, that is the obstacle's fault. Like, if you had the right obstacle, that wouldn't have happened. Right. And you would have landed really already. Fun and I was really proud of myself dealing with the falls and rolling with the punches. Thanks for watching and happy learning. Good stuff, Doug. It seems like this is the video that popped up his channel. Dang, 12 days ago, the end of the channel? What? Next up, we got Sofia Serez. I learned to skateboard in 30 days. First drop in, first time at skatebox. So we can see how another person progresses over 30 days too. Gang, gang, skateboard, ready? Yeah, gang, gang, let's get it. Whoa. Dang, we got the welcome. All right, let's go. Day one. <laughs> Going for the ollie. Okay, not bad. Yeah, caveman unlocked. Good. So that was day one. Let me tell you, this crack felt like it was an eight foot pole that was, <laughs> you know, just sticking out of nowhere. So this thing was pretty difficult. And oh Honestly, my gosh, cracks and lines are good to learn timing. To do that. Yeah, popcorn. Day three of what I've learned ever of riding a skateboard ever. Looking good. That was a good turn. Wow. Nice bend in the knees. Maybe looks like your trucks are kind of tight. <laughs> yeah, dropping in. <laughs> no stall. Welcome to day four. 
spent like four hours outside. I That's pretty good attempts. In the driveway and yeah, just gotta do it fast. Times. Oh, there we go. Ooh. I got too scared. We don't need to be rolling yet for so the ollies. Like don't be scared. Message to self. Yeah. Kick tens. Pretty good. I think we could practice some stationery to get the technique down too. There we go. First one step. Yeah. Go ahead. Yeah, wow, grizzly good. grip. Let's go. All right. I love to see when they get a teacher. Even if they're still a beginner, it like helps them so much. Let's see this guy's ollie. Oh yeah, we learning it. Yep. <laughs> Still working on the timing. Yeah, we're not ready for that yet. Well, everyone, the skate parks have just opened, so that means we're gonna go. Yeah, here we it's go. My first time going in the circle and riding. What a random looking arena. park! Oh my goodness. <laughs> yeah, lean forward and maybe slower into it. Lean forward, lean forward. <laughs> yeah, that was good. Nice. Okay, smack it down. Yes, sir. Yep. Yeah. Commit. Lean right forward here. more than you ever believe. Dang, this is kind of steep for it. Oh. Look at that planner box. What a cool pop. Good morning. Welcome. Oh, yeah, she didn't go for it. Yeah, that's what we need. Stationary ollie attempts. It's better. Yeah, lift it up even. That was good. Yep, in the crack. Ideal. Yep. Another random looking park. What country is this? This one looks kind of fun. This thing kind of made me practice dropping in, so <laughs> it was better than going straight to the quarter pipe. Yeah, I mean, this kind of isn't like dropping in. I would recommend just being on tail stall on the ground and then dropping in on the flat ground. Because dropping down from tail... Whoa, that was kind of risk. Dropping in from tail like that, it's a, kind of like a different skill. Lean more forward. Yeah, lean more forward. Lean maximum forward, more than you could ever believe possible. She she could get it there. I think she should do the bank first there. Lean forward, lean forward. Ooh. Dang, that's a whippy quarter to learn. This is a tough quarter to learn. Yeah, go back to the bank. We gotta train the committing though. You don't want to half commit. You gotta full commit. Ooh, ooh yeah. Yeah, and just train to never not do that. See, what I like about this one compared to the other guy, the other guy kind of just hit his same house to learn everything, but she's really getting out there, going to different parks, going to the car park, meeting the homie. Like, I, I like that. I think if you just get stuck in one location, it can kind of hinder your progress. But see, she's just enjoying skating too. It's like, oh, I'm a skater now. Let's go to the different park. Let's see this area. Uh oh, yeah. this is a better quad pipe than that whippy one. Oh, you had that. You had that. Dang, she's running back up. You got it. Right here. Yeah. Oh. oh. Yeah, carving it up. Let's see the drop in. I think you definitely got it. That's a good quarter pipe for it. Let's see it. Boom, yeah. So he completed it. I would like to see the ollies a bit more, but that's what's fun about skating is you get to choose what you focus on. So it's like if you focus on ollies every day, you would. But she more focused on riding around parks, carving, dropping in. Skateboarding rather than the video. So what's cool about this is I think she actually started skateboarding from this video. This is the one we watched. And then I think she just kept skating. So that was two years ago. Skate progress, skate vlog, rock to fakie, dang. See, like, that's cool. It's like out of all these videos that I watched, usually they just do it for the content. But she actually just genuinely started skating. Look at this, my biggest drop in. That's really cool. Some escape vlog. So well done, Sophia. Keep shredding. That's it for this video. I like skate.